If not, then let us listen to the first text log. And my, oh, my space on my desk is a bit crowded. Okay, D-Day minus 11. Confidential letter from Captain Paul Marsky to his partner, Derek Stelf. And again, that's us. Derek, I've just learned what happened to Diane. And I don't know how to, how to tell you how terribly sorry I feel. You may remember that you had learned earlier that uh, Diane Stealth died in the, in the collapse of a shopping mall due to the actions of this fungus. So, okay. I heard about your discussion about your discussion with the police chief about his refusal to let you t take a day off for the funeral. I just spoke with him and convinced him to take it easy on you and give you back your service, Bakar. I know how hard you've worked on that baby. He admitted that you were at the end of your rope and recognized the fact that he was not very diplomatic in representing the, in presenting the situation to you. Between you and me, the black eye you gave him doesn't look, at, look all that bad. Boy, I would have liked to have been there to see that. You have to understand that despite the events that have taken place and the terrible effect they have had on you, you can't risk losing our best officers at this time. People are going crazy because of this, because of this green horror seeping everywhere, even through the drains and into the bathtubs. Last night at the city, a simple demonstration turned into a major riot. We need you, Derek. I also wonder why we are hiding the truth from everyone. And we all know that this poor thing came out of this mining shaft 14 at Plant 21. Why hide it? All the silence is just making people turn against us. As usual, it's us poor cops that take the blame and the brunt of everyone's anger. All we can do now is make sure that make sure we do our job as well as possible. Play around the play along, Derek. It'll help you forget your problems and possibly chase away some of your dark thoughts. I have to go though. Everyone's really on the edge and it's up to us. It's up to me to keep my officers in line. Take care of yourself. Signed, Paul Maskey. Yes, our wife, in fact, died in that, in that accident. Um, Uh, yes, um, so the next letter, um, D-Day minus 10, that's a longer interview, I hope I have enough time to read out this text log. Interview with Samuel Curtin, spokesman for the IMC, the IO Mining Corporation, by Randy Brown, correspondent from MBN. Good evening, Mr. Curtin. To begin with, I would like to ask you one very important question. After having scrupulously respected the code of silence imposed on your company by the authorities, why did the IO Mining Corporation suddenly decide to break the silence tonight exclusively with MBN? The answer is easy, Mr. Brown. IMC is a responsible, civic-minded corporation. And because of this, we feel it is our duty to inform the public of what happened. Total transparency has always been part of our company code, and it's still today. At any case, this is still leaving us wondering if your delay in communicating this highly important information conforms with the virtual transparency of your company which you describe. Unless, of course, your desire to talk has something to do with the plummet in IMC's shares on the stock exchange a few hours ago. I'm going to tell you, Mr. Brown. Let your speculators do, the, do their own job. We have come out with a statement, at our own expense, stating that the political decision of the authorities to keep silent about the accident at Plant 21 has wronged our company. The victims of the catastrophe are searching for someone to blame and are being influenced by the envir environmentalists lobby. Mr. Curtin, I'm standing right here in Alderaan and can tell you that there are no militant environmentalists here. All of these people who have been forced to leave their homes because of part have good reasons to be angry. Those who cram into the meager shelters given to them by the mun municipal authorities. What do you have to say to them? All I can do is offer them the sympathy of IMC's managers. We are well aware of the situation in which they find themselves. 
the IMC has unfrozen 25 million in assets for the purpose of assuring help at necessities such as food, first aid and shelters. But people here need answers more than they need medication, Mr. Curtin. The help that has been given received is the help that has been received is enough. If you would refrain from interrupting me, I will tell you what you want to hear. From the data we have ga gathered at this time, part is a fungus, a terrestrial spore that is native to Io's ecosystem. It is completely inert and passive when it is in its natural environment where no ex oxygen is found. When oxygen is introduced into its environment, part becomes extremely active and one of our excavating teams punctured an airtight packet of part while dry drilling a tunnel around one of the mining shafts at plant, plant 21. The oxygen that entered through Io's, through Io's terraformation came into contact with the fungus. Some rock materials contaminated by part were put into a scarp shuttle by our robots and sent off into the direction of the rapid transport route to Pompeii. The shafts and the triage center collapsed in less than 8 minutes because of the violent corrosive quality of the fungus. Our security computers were able to identify, stop and destroy the shuttle before it reached sewer. Unfortunately, Pod had already escaped into the environment. I believe you know the rest. But that's exactly it. If Pod was able to destroy two of your huge installations in just a few seconds, why didn't it destroy the entire colony? It appears that Pod has cycles of hyperactivity that are broken up by cycles of digestion, if you can call it that. When it, it is active, part spreads faster than a wildfire. When, then it stagnates for an indefinite period of time. We do not know why or how, but it has calmed itself down after 20 minutes on the outskirts of the city. We feel it is our responsibility to inform the inhabitants of Io that part is gone. It's not gone, but instead will be starting a new phase of hyperactivity from anywhere between three days to a few months. To be perfectly honest, Io is condemned until we find a cure, which, may not, which we may not find in time. The IMC will not protect the interests of the government any longer by hiding this established fact. The people of Io must know the risks they will be taking by staying on this planet. Oh, allow me to say one more thing to reassure the families of the IMC employees mentioned stationed on Io. The IMC is, at this very moment, organizing the evacuation of all its employees on Io. Please stay calm. We will contact you individually. Excuse me for interrupting me, Mr. Curtin, but the authorities have arrived in the control room and informed us that this broadcast has ended. We can finish this interview at another time if... End of interview. And end of this video. I hope I did not go over time, which I probably did. So until next time, folks. Until then.